It is deliver Brexit, unite the country and defeat Jeremy Corbyn. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to defeat Jeremy Corbyn. Hey everyone, it's really hot here in the UK. Um, so as you may have heard, Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson, love the name honestly, is the new leader of the Conservative Party and tomorrow will become the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Deliver, unite and defeat was not the perfect acronym for an election campaign <laughs> since unfortunately it spells dud. But they forgot the final E, my friends, E for energise. And I say, I say to all the doubters, dude, we are going to energise the country. We're going to get Brexit done on October the 31st. We're going to take advantage of all the opportunities that it will bring in a new spirit of can do. And we are I've always liked Boris Johnson. He's actually an incredibly hardworking person. As London mayor, he would often walk, work long into the night. He really put the hours in. I also like how he doesn't take himself, or life in general, too seriously. I mean, of course, politics are important, but the conservative ethos is that politics should be about protecting the individual and the freedoms that allow the rest of the country to function effectively. They believe it's not the role of government to totalise and control its citizens' lives, but to put in place a framework of fair laws that allow people to be successful without being dictated to by the state about how they should live their day-to-day -day lives. Boris seems far more liberal in the sense of looking after individual rights and having pro-business and an economic freedom approach, rather than the outgoing Prime Minister, Theresa May, who was described as a wet Conservative because of her adoption of left-leaning policies. For example, along with Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, May stopped Stop and Search on the grounds that it was racist, which actually led to a rise in knife crime. It also became clear that Theresa May was never going to leave the EU without a deal, which actually made the EU more reluctant to give May any kind of concessions. Boris, however, will leave the EU without a deal if the EU is unwilling to negotiate. Some people who are more critical of Boris have said he's unpredictable and he's said controversial things in the past. There will be people around the place who will question the wisdom of your decision. Uh, and there may even be some people here who still wonder what, quite what they have done. Whilst this is true, Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell, of, who are the, well, leader of the opposition and the shadow chancellor, have also said very unpredictable things, such as suggesting we seize property from the rich to house the victims of the Grenfell Tower or that we seize businesses from their owners with or without compensation and massively increasing the tax people pay when selling their homes. How do we change the system? We've got to demand systemic change. I'm, look, I'm, straight, I'm honest with people, I'm a Marxist. You know, I've been, this is a classic Marx crisis of the economy, a classic capitalist crisis. I've been waiting for this for a generation. <laughs> <laughs> Corbyn has some good policies too. Boris has also made a few mistakes, such as suggesting um, a woman in Iran was working in a professional capacity when the Iranian government captured and held her, and, and he suggested women wearing a burqa look like letterboxes. But I want to point out that Boris doesn't actually want to ban the wearing of the burqa like other countries have. I'd actually given up on Boris Johnson ever becoming Prime Minister. I thought that maybe he'd already had his day, but I'm glad I was wrong because he's by far the most charismatic candidate. I hope his optimism and good cheer will rub off on the rest of the country. You know, on a side note, it's going to be interesting looking at Boris Johnson and Donald Trump on the world stage together, you know, both with their kind of slightly strange haircuts and uh, slightly kind of oddities. I mean, they're not at all the same, obviously. Um, Donald Trump has said things that Boris Johnson would never touch. Boris Johnson has talked about things within a sort of humorous context. Donald Trump is actually a lot more calculating about what he says. They always say that Donald Trump's the master of 4D chess, and he, he really is. I mean, right now he's got the um, Democrat Party supporting the most um, socialist sort of radical 
elements within the party. So here's the thing, you know, whether you like Boris Johnson or you think he's a bit of a buffoon, I think we should all give him a chance to actually show what kind of prime minister he's going to be like. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you entirely. But uh, yeah, please uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. And thank you very much for watching.